Find the normal vector for the function f of x comma y equals seven times e raised to the power of x squared minus two y at the point four comma eight comma seven in the form in which the z component equals negative one. We can use the notes below referring to the unit normal vector to f of x comma y, except in our case, we don't need a unit vector. We simply need to make a vector in which the z component is negative one. But referring to the notes below, to determine a unit normal vector to f of x comma y, if we let big f of x comma y comma z equal f of x comma y minus z equals zero, as long as the gradient of big f doesn't equal the zero vector, the unit normal vector to the function f of x comma y is equal to the gradient of big f divided by the magnitude of the gradient of big f. And again, we're not gonna find the unit normal vector, we'll just find a normal vector and then perform scalar multiplication if needed to make the z component negative one. Let's begin by determining big f of x comma y comma z, which again is equal to f of x comma y minus z equals zero. So in our case, big f of x comma y comma z is equal to f of x comma y, which is seven times e to the power of x squared minus two y minus z equals zero. And now for the next step, we'll determine the gradient of big F, which we can see below requires the first order partial derivatives. So the gradient of big F has an x component equal to the partial of big F with respect to x, which means we differentiate seven times e to the power of x squared minus 2y minus z with respect to x, treating y and z as constants. This gives us seven times e to the power of x squared minus 2y times the derivative of x squared minus 2y with respect to x, treating y and z as constants, which gives us 2x, and then minus the derivative of z with respect to x is zero. The y component is a partial of big F with respect to y, now we differentiate with respect to y, treating x and z as constants, which gives us seven times e to the power of x squared minus two y times the derivative of x squared minus two y with respect to y, treating x and z as constants, which gives us negative two, and then minus the derivative of z with respect to y is zero. And finally, the z component is equal to the partial of big F with respect to z. So now we differentiate with respect to z, treating x and y as constants, the derivative of seven e to the power of x squared minus two y with respect to z is zero because we're treating x and y as constants and then minus the derivative of z with respect to z which gives us negative one. So notice now the z component is negative one. So to find a normal vector in which the z component is negative one, we now just need to evaluate the gradient of big F at the given point. Actually, before we do this, let's simplify the gradient of big F. Looking at the x component, let's write this as 14x e to the power of x squared minus two y. Let's write the y component as negative 14 e to the power of x squared minus two y. And of course the z component is already negative one. So now we'll evaluate the gradient of big F at the point four comma eight comma seven. The x component is 14 times x, which is four, times e to the power of the square of four, which is four squared, minus two times y, which is two times eight. The y component is negative 14 times e to the power of, again, four squared, minus two times eight, and the z component is negative one. Simplifying, 14 times four is 56. E to the power of 16 minus 16, which is zero. For the y component, we have negative 14 times e to the power of, again, zero. And the z component is negative one. So now we'll go ahead and label this the normal vector. The normal vector to our function f of x comma y at the point four comma eight comma seven that has a z component of negative one is the vector 56 comma negative 14 comma negative one. Let's look at this graphically just to verify this vector is normal to the surface at the point four comma eight comma seven. Here we see the graph of the surface. This blue vector is the vector we found 
plotted to the initial point is the point 4, 8, 7. And notice the vector does appear to be normal or orthogonal to the surface at the point. I hope you found this helpful.